Hello and welcome back to the 20... Actually, I don't even know because I have like about two hours of footage that I'm rendering out right now and uploading and whatever. So I don't know which episode number this will be. I'm guessing somewhere between 25, 30 or something. I really do not know. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to tell you what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to be continuing the main quest. We're going to find Formerous Hughes, the guy that revived us at the start of the game. And we're going to meet Templar Octien, because Octien was the patron uh, of uh, Formerous Hughes. He, he paid for my revival, basically. So, we're going to meet him. We're going to ask him some questions. If he doesn't answer them correctly, then we're going to kick his ass, and that's what we'll be doing today. Okay, so, let's go! Yo, Octian person! Fuck you! I'm bigger than you. You asked for me. The gnome who brought you back to life? Uh, I just explained that. But I gather you've been quite busy. Well, Scholar Hughes... I have, dude. Been ...since the attack on his tower. Game of True Sworn. As patron, I am quite concerned. I want you to find him. You are, how shall I say, uniquely suited to the task. I can change fate. Um... Can't you find him? Incident at Alistar made Scholar Hughes a touch uh, paranoid. Every time we receive a clue that his location, he vanishes before I can reach him. But he's running out of places to hide. Okay. My opinion, Why would he hide from you? Hmm? Hmm? You. Uh, I'll find Hughes for you. Scholar Hughes is quite fortunate to have friends like us. Sure. I don't trust you at all. Okay. Okay. Well, we better go over there then. Uh, so since last time I went to Rathia, Bought some potions, uh, got my curses uh, healed, and uh, I went to bed, which was a very good decision, because I was tired as fuck, as you might have noticed. But, um, yeah, had a good night's sleep, all, uh, all revved up. I'm gonna go finish this main quest line. Uh, maybe finish the game today, I don't know, I don't know... Cause I'm kinda I'm kinda done with doing side quests that give me two thousand gold when I have one million in the bank. I don't need any more gold. Uh anyway, I got like this new bow which I'm gonna like showcase right here. Oh look at that damage. Oh look at that damage, and they're both going to die, I think. Oh no, they're resistant to poison. Well, that kinda sucks, that means this bow isn't that impressive. Cause uh I'm gonna go show it to you. Uh, this bow that I crafted gives me 45 extra health, which is nice. It does uh, quite a bit of physical and piercing damage. It has an extra chance to critical hit, and it does 80 fucking one poison damage over 7 seconds. And because I have that one ability of mine, uh, poison things uh, get improved. So, uh, yeah, it does quite a bit of poison damage to enemies that get affected by poison, which is not undead sons of lass. Yeah, sons of Lass are pretty undead, so they can't get hit by poison. Kinda sucks, kinda sucks. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Last time we did the uh, War Sworn quest. Side quest line thingy. Okay, these guys should be affected by poison. Yeah, let's fight. Let's shoot these arrows a little faster. The Feyblades are still just broken, man. Like, this bow's got nothing on my Feyblades, even if it says it does more damage. 
Will you die, for God's sake? Like, damn. Just leave me alone, dude. I need to, like, find the guy that saved my life. Or, well, he didn't save my life. He just, uh, saved uh, me from the dead. Which is basically saving my life. He revived me. Which is why we're going to find him. Protect him from uh, Templar Octian, who I suspect does not want this former Hughes person to be alive. Because, uh, you know, why would Formers be hiding from this guy if, you know, like, I don't, I don't trust that. Why would he hide from his patron? He says he can't find him because, uh, because he keeps running away. So we're going to go find this person. It's up to you, dude. He's in the next room with lots of NPCs. I can see that on the mini map. Come on, dude, die, please. Then again, why would Octien be like, yo, dude, find this guy for me if he can just kill him himself? Like, he wouldn't ask me because he knows I won't kill him. Book there, and I'm not gonna read. Prismir! Awesome. Yeah, I did some uh, shoppage, and uh. Oh, shit. I'm stuck! Uh, now I'm no longer stuck. I am unstucked! Uh. Yeah, I uh, did some sellings, and I got over a million gold! Yo! I'm never going to be able to spend all that, but whatever. Uh. Inspect corpse. By all appearances, this gnome died some time ago, and in a rather brutal fashion. Clutched in his hands are a key and an old scrap of parchment. Alright. Oh no, sons of lass everywhere. Sons of lass. You know what? Fuck you. Every time, man. Every fucking time. Arrow storm. Well, that actually did quite a bit of damage. I am happy I got that arrow storm ability. That did quite a bit of damage. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. I've got, I've got stuff to do. Stuff to do, people to kill. Things to render out. Videos to upload. Well, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of this game. By the looks of it. By the looks of the, the main quest being being ended. Bam. I actually tried getting some um, some dread dread scale armor, but I couldn't really get it because the shop didn't have any of like any dread scale armor at all. It's really kind of annoying. They had a fucking dread scale buckler or like an ebony buckler, but. It was really expensive. It was like 600k or something. And I'm gonna going to pay 600k for a buckler if I have this awesome shield with a with a cool cool musical device on it. So you know, sons of lass. Oh no, fair Gorda. Oh come on, dude. I was nowhere near that axe. There was no way I got hit by that. There you go. Emergency supplies and luck with the emergency supply key. Wicked! I got extra fee stuff that I'm going to salvage or put in my junks. Tab. Item tab. Item tab itch. Wait, what can, can I can I use the incinerator on these guys? I can. Oh shit. They don't give a fu oh they do. They died. They died. Well, that's good. Um Well, there's nothing to be looted there, so I'm just going to leave that incinerator on. Waste waste powerful energy. Waste gases. You know, I could have 
got into using a bow if it weren't for it being kind of slow like it says it has a fast attack speed and it does I mean you can fire quite a bit of freaking arrows in a short time but they do no damage if you don't draw the fucking arrow for quite a bit and if you draw the arrow for quite a bit it's not that fast it just it's just ranged which which is useful in some situations Oh, uh, by the way, in case you haven't noticed, I went to a Fate Weaver and I removed my um, dodgy ability. My ability to attack from dodge. Are you kidding me? Out of 30% and I co it cost... Oh, God. Awful, awful. Yeah, I went to a Fate Weaver and I removed that ability because it, uh, it did more harm than... Uh, it did more harm than good, is what that did. It did more harm than good. So I removed it. Because it was kind of annoying. Yeah! Is there an incinerator I can use? No, there is not. But they haven't noticed me yet. So I'm going to stand over here and shoot them with arrows. There you go. See? It can be useful. Bow can be useful. Even against undead who don't get... Who, who, who take like 81 less damage over 7 seconds. Because, uh... Because they're undead. Yeah. Can you imagine what this what this bow will do to the Tuatha? Yeah. That's what I thought. It's going to rape their asses. Oh look, there's another strange device here that we found in the Warsworn questline. That doesn't really do anything. Wow, well, his sign card. Well, well, sound glitched out there. Really the oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I shouldn't be rendering out videos. In the same time of recording new footage. Ah, but I wanted to play this game, so... There you go. Nothing to be done there. Yeah, you have contracted a curse. I haven't contracted a curse. I've contracted a disease. The game failed. I'm here to help you. In many ways, your awakening has brought me nothing but misery. But that is not the extent of it. You're alive, dude. Thanks to me. Because I changed fate. You're so paranoid, dude. Oh, who's that? What's that? Wow! Assassins! Assassiny people! White palm assassin! You guys are fuck, mate. Like, I just used reckoning, so you're going to get, like, pooped upon. In the arsh. Get off my dwarf! God damn it! It's my dwarf! You're a mage now? I thought you used daggers. Thought you were all manly, but no, no. You, you, well, my opinion of you just dropped to the floor, dude. It just dropped through the floor and into the depths of deepness. There you go. 100% extra experience. Alright, 5,000... Oh, there's more? Shit, dude. You know what we do when there's so many enemies? That's what we do when there's so many enemies. Ah, I get pooped upon by green arrows! Yay! Oh, I know why I'm not doing as much damage as I thought I should be doing. I need to go and buff up, because I haven't done that yet. Five. And six. Will you give me a moment, please? I need to buff up. Right now, I should be doing lots of damage. There we go. There's still one guy over there. There you go, that's much better. Assassins, yeah. Someone wants you dead, bro. Someone wants you really dead. But they have quite a bit of gold. You know, assassins have a lot of gold because uh, they kill people for a living, and if you kill people for a living, you get paid gold. The last we spent, it was the Duarte that reduced my lab to cinders. Now it's a sacking. Everywhere I go, 
No, oh, that wasn't really destruction, that was just death and me pwning people. Oh, you ever wanted. Thank you. For more than just your protection, for being the one good thing to come of this disaster, I have few friends, but I gladly count you among them. Wicked! Octien, do you distrust Octien? I do. You're a tool. Alistar. The cow. So many League of Legends references. It's amazing. Uh, can you get me to Alabastra? So I need to go to Alabastra. I need to go kill Gatflow. Unfortunately, the only way to find Ventrinio is to go through Templar Okien, which will not be easy now that we know of his treachery. But he doesn't know that we know that we know that he knows that we know that we know that he's gonna kill us. I'll force Okien to talk. A powerful sorcerer with tremendous influence. If you attack him outright, you would lose all credit I don't care, I'll kill anyone that stands in my path. How can Yoriel help us, dude? Alright! Alright! I have notes of Octien's crimes. That is fantastic. Can go loot this ship. What's the shortest way out? It's that away. All right, let's go speak to this Yoriel person. Let's go speak to this Yoriel person. Expose Octian's crimes and get into Alabastra. We already have our army at to ready. Well, we don't. We just need to convince the king of. There's more assassins, really? Fucking kidding me! Stop being so goddamn annoying. Thank you for dying. Appreciate it. I'm gonna loot you for some gold. Or chosses. Yay! Hollowlands! 